Goodbye, Georgetown. Hello, Manito Cliff Dwellings. Today we're exploring this replica of a thousand year old ruins. And yeah, we're gonna laugh, we're gonna have a silly old time, but we're also gonna learn. Cause one thing about me, I'ma do my own research. I'ma be spending tens of hundreds of hours of my life putting together a silly little 10 minute video. Welcome to the channel. Please subscribe. Let's get into it. Here we are in the parking lot. I gotta say, Red Rock Desert vibe isn't really what I think of when I think of Colorado. I think of lush green vistas, cool rocky mountains, alpine wildlife filled forests. This part of Colorado is giving Australian outback. Like suddenly I'm craving a steak a blooming onion, and life-threatening explosive diarrhea. All that to say, this is a different side of Colorado than what I'm used to. There's a teepee in the parking lot, which definitely feels like a late stage add-on. The sign basically says, the teepee was used by different indigenous groups that are being highlighted here, but we just, we got a lot of complaints from the tourists about, uh, this is Native American tourist attraction, uh, why no teepee? So? Here is Teepee. 10 out of 10, love the sunroof, the doggy door. I think this particular Teepee has seen better days. Too many teens coming in late at night and playing box cut of boxing. <laughs> okay, now to the actual dwellings. This is a really cool attraction. You can actually walk through it. You can touch stuff. You really get to experience the ruins. I think a great cross promo collab idea could be do like a 127 hour experience. You know. The hundredth guest gets a free arm amputation. This replica was constructed between 1904 and 1907. They moved these ruins from Southwest Colorado brick by brick into this protected preserve. It's very similar to the ancient Spanish monastery in Miami in that way. Sort of like this philosophy of, we should take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. The structure is the ceremonial kiva. It's a religious space. Except for certain ceremonies, women were not allowed in the kiva. It's freaking boys night. No girls allowed. The key for entrance is through a hole in the ceiling. Obviously, this particular one has seen better days. You would enter by coming down a ladder directly over the smoke of the fire. The smoke would cleanse the men and prepare them for the ceremony. Baby, we we hot boxing in this kiva. But indigenous people were so right about so many things. Moving on through the dwellings, entrances to the structures were often up off the ground. It was a way to keep pests out and babies in. The thought process is once you're old enough to climb up, over, and out, you're strong enough to fight a mountain lion one-on-one. -on -one. Kind of genius, these food storage boxes were built with super smooth sides to make it difficult for rodents to climb up and in. You know, you always gotta be on the lookout for them. Rat, jumping around the corner looking for a food. Very jealous. So what, what food are they putting in this box? Corn. Corn is the staple diet and eaten daily. I'm originally from Iowa, and I can understand this on a deep personal level. This structure is believed to be a lookout tower. Personally, I have my own theory. You're living on a cliff, you're living off the land. You have time for stories and make-believe. Many a wonderful regional production of Tangled was performed on this very stage. This is it. I'm finally gonna do it. At the base of the watchtower is it not what you think, you dirty little pervert. Okay, this is a corn cob hole. Let's say you're working a tower shift and you get hungry for a snack. A friend would come over and, and slide their corn cob into the hole and you would be able to enjoy a hands-free snack to slop on that cob. Shouts out for corn. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button if you love corn. In these cliffs, there's 23 families living here, six to 10 people in each family sharing single rooms, some as small as six feet by eight feet. No electricity, no running water, no modern sanitation services. It's very New York City coded. The only thing missing is that signature 
stench of piss and trash. These were ruined, so parts of it are pretty run down. Okay, but I mean, let's get those love of the list of queens in here. Put up some ship labs, some barn doors, raid the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. Uh, we could really flip this place for a profit. Catch us on Zillow. Hillside eco home with natural finishes. $6.8 million. All right, continue down this beautiful pathway. Takes us to the museum and gift shop. And look at this, it says it's not a gambling machine. Um. I'll bet you money that I can turn any machine into a gambling machine. This is like 10 out of 10 best gift shop I've ever been in. It has real stuff made by indigenous peoples. It's like real sh Look, I imagine how many dreams have been caught by this wall. Oh, the stories they could tell. Uh, not just the gifts, the, the space in the shop itself is so cool. The gift shop is sort of bookended by exhibit, so you go through the gift shop, back into the museum, and do this little Raiders of the Lost Ark cave. Cool ancient artifacts, and not, you know, spooky or scary at all, just a couple of skulls. Very normal. Why are you scared? Are they real? Why would you ask something like that when you could pretend that they're not? It's cool, you know, eh? when I woke up that morning, did I think I was gonna see dead people? No. I thought we were just doing the five senses today. I see. It's always interesting to me when there's sort of like a museum exhibit about the museum. You know, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the museum. So I've got souvenirs, pictures, media, all the way back to the early 1900s. Okay, this dude is ripped. Indigenous peoples famous for hitting the gym. GTL, gym tan land rights. This is a cool antique. It's a scale that you can step on and it will literally call you fat. I'm actually all good, dog. This is like mildly concerning. They actually have the deed to the cliff dwellings just hanging on the wall. I can neither confirm nor deny whether or not I am currently in possession of the deed and whether or not I am currently the legal owner and operator of the Manitou Cliff Dwellings. You wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal a handbag. And you wouldn't steal a Manitou Cliff Dwellings. There's some really cool pottery. This one is a double-sided pot. You know, jugs. Got some cool jewelry. Ancient Pueblo and Cliff Dwellers were big fans of 90s surf culture. Puka necklaces, Coco Belly, it's all the rage. I might actually have that reversed. Maybe it was the other way around. This shows some of the different games that they would play. Hoop games? That's interesting. I've actually never met anybody wearing hoops who was playing games. Do you need an earring that says, I fight other women? This exhibit was really cool. It's showing the process of making some of their styles of pottery. Of special note is this quote right here. When the fire has reached a maximum temperature, it is smothered with fine horse manure. The manure creates a deep black smoke that produces the famous black finish that the Santa Clara Pueblo are known for. That, my friends, is a sh stained pot. Your fave could never. Something I love to do in my travels is just get off the beaten path. Go find a little hole in the wall establishment. This is interesting. It's just showing different types of corn come in different lengths. Okay. I, th I think the one on the right is probably average size, right? Indigenous people, sort of famous, well known for using all parts of an animal. In what usage is more noble than novelty wall decoration? These are some real life relatable depictions. It happens to everybody. Sometimes you get stuck and you need your step bro to come help you out. Throughout all the exhibits, the dwellings, the museum, the gift shop, you hear this beautiful flute music, all performed by Raymond Carlos Nakai. He's indigenous Lizzo. We did it, Manitou Cliff Dwelling explored check thank you guys for watching please like subscribe comment down below it all helps the channel grow if this is the first video you're seeing of me you can go back and see all sorts of field trips and stay tuned because in the next video we're jumping over the interstate to the miramount castle i thought it was just gonna be quaint that place is spooky as hell stay beautiful stay blessed stay bricked up no <laughs> no Stay, what's another B? Stay being yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Always stay being yourself. Go. <laughs>
Born.